So we've uh, just done the Anglesey Barracks. I've come round the corner to these uh, other barracks. Um, I found a composition on the side down here. There's a lone tree. Had some nice light spilling on it and the uh, Mordor rock behind it. Um, that sort of looked nice. Well, I hope it does. Um, also got a shot with these barracks behind me. Um, I'm going to walk down to the bottom end of these barracks now and uh, there was a shot I got before. Uh, I had a nice black and white shot of the uh, barracks at the bottom there but there was so much wind at that time. Uh, there was a lot of shake in the uh, branches of the canopy but I don't like the uh, movements if you know what I mean it just spoils the images so I'm gonna walk down there and get that shot and uh, yeah that's gonna be the last shot for today so uh, that's it I wish I was into photography in my early 20s because um, now when you're older you sort of think back and uh, you remember the town where you were brought up in and you, you sort of be quite interested in looking at some old images of how the town used to look back then and uh, stuff like that whether it's town, villages or cities uh, you know there are images, uh, old images but not many so yeah I wish when I was younger, I'd photographed the towns I lived in, uh, you know, the way of life back then. So, uh, yeah, if you're a young photographer, uh, get, that'll give you something to uh, think about. It's always worth photographing your town. Uh, you know, the people, the shops, uh, just the way of life. And then put them away in the 30, 40 years, you can come back to, to them and they're just... It's like opening a box of treasure, treasure, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that's something, uh, if you're young, I'd consider doing uh, very interesting. So yeah, that's what I'm basically jabbering on about, is uh, what I've got in mind here is the shot looking out of this window uh, to the mountain in the background. And just to think that these uh, huts, they've been here for over a hundred years. And uh, just imagine the men who've actually lived well, you know, stayed in these uh, huts and uh, looked out this window through time uh, on horrendous days, beautiful days. You know, it's just, it's just interesting, uh, yeah, the past and the amount of people looking out through this window, you know, just what they were thinking. So yeah, uh, enough of my talking now. So I'm gonna take a composition uh, with this slate window looking out to the view and what's interesting uh, nothing much has changed in the last of oh, hundred years or so or probably more than that with the view except for the road that's going on over there but yeah it's still the same view but uh, the windowsill's just missing no glass so yeah that's what I'm doing composition the slate wall window looking out to that mountain and the uh, clouds above it
come here now. Uh, wind's picking up here now. It's just stopped for a minute, so I thought I'll get this done. Uh, I like this composition here. You've got this silver tree, uh, which is just sticking out. Uh, this lovely cottage. Uh, keeping my eye out, hoping the sun's going to pop out. Uh, put some light on that, even if it lit that tree up, it would be fantastic. But you never know. Maybe, maybe not. So, uh, yeah, in the composition, I've got this silver type of tree. Uh, you've got the uh, dead bracken red, greenish colour on the uh, floor. You've got these old trees popping out and that cottage. Uh, and on the edge of the right frame, you've got like a red brickwork, which is quite interesting. So, yeah, I'm just hoping to get a bit of light on that just to make them pop. So it's pretty windy up here, so uh, what I've done now is uh, I put the long lens in on the uh, camera and sort of picked out little compositions uh, in the quarry itself. So uh, yeah, with this I'm going to find little compositions uh, within the quarry itself. 